Hello everybody, uh, we're in Bethlehem right now. We're about to head for Jerusalem. We've been here for two days. This is Terry Kylo, and uh, he's one of our pilgrims this year. And I was just gonna ask him uh, what I've been asking. What's the most impactful thing so far for you? Well, I really enjoyed, um, first off, uh, being up in Galilee and seeing uh, Nazareth and Capernaum and uh, seeing that the Gerasene, uh, the city of the Gerasenes was just across the lake and, uh, and kind of noticing the, the geography and how close everything was. Um, it really helped me get a better feel for everything and it all, the Bible just like starts, started to come alive for me uh, quite a bit up there. And then as we came down uh, toward Jerusalem, you know, I saw the walls and, and the guns and the razor wire and, uh, and, and that, that really hit me in, in ways I can't really even put name, name to yet. Um, I haven't had the experience of having soldiers on the streets or around with guns much in my life. And, and um, just to see that just really hit me. What, and then, and no, then, go ahead, go ahead. And then <clears throat> yesterday, yesterday um, I, I prayed um, in quite a few places. I, I prayed at St. George's Cathedral, and we sang uh, really, really great uh, songs with each other and had the Eucharist. Um, I prayed in, at the, uh, what's known to be the birthplace of Jesus. And then out where the shepherds uh, were, um, at least possibly were. And then when all that was done, um, I, I, I heard the call of prayer at a mosque mm -hmm. at uh, Bethlehem Square. And, and uh, I went over there and went in and took off my shoes and sat down in the back and uh, closed my eyes and prayed and felt my blood pressure go down and, and uh, heard it much the same way I've, I've heard the prayers in the States, um, exactly the same. And uh, the Imam, who didn't speak English, came over and welcomed me, and we shared peace, uh, signed a peace with each other. So a lot of people know this, but you, of course, have started a very important new ministry called Neighbors in Faith, and uh, trying to promote dialogue between Muslims and Christians. So what has this experience uh, helped you with that, taught you? Uh, just what, what are you bringing back about that particular thing that you worked so hard on? Well, I, I, I think what this trip has taught me um, <laughs> Uh, has deepened my awareness that Muslims are people. <laughs> yeah. that they're just people and, and they're, they come in all shapes and sizes and different personalities and, and different perspectives on things. And they have deep theological and political and economic debates amongst themselves the same way we do. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and so this has really just helped me to listen. I was here to listen to Muslims and just hear like what, what it's like, what's the relationships like between Christians and Muslims here mm -hmm. in, uh, mm -hmm. in Bethlehem and, and to hear that they, that they get along so well and that mostly it's the economic and political decisions that put pressure on people who then sometimes behave in ways that are unfortunate. Yeah. And then, um, you know, honestly, Greg, the, this morning, um, you know, we went to the, to the, um, to the orphanage mm -hmm. here and, uh, there was this one little boy who was crying as we came in. He was in kind of one of those little standing seats with rollers on him, and he was just uh, he was just crying because he's teething. You could just see the um, you know his, his saliva coming down his chin, and and uh, I just kind of kneeled down ahead of him, and uh, and and then uh, uh, someone moved to pick him up, and he kind of reached out for me, mm -hmm. um, and so I held him for about maybe ten minutes, and. He slowly calmed down and seemed to be, you know, through crying and got through his hiccups, and uh, and then uh, and then he had to go and get his diaper changed. And um, um, I found myself weeping for him um, mm. in the in the worship uh, space. It's powerful, powerful. Yeah, and I orphans. had and I had some good fellow pilgrims come up and and be with me. And then after the Eucharist, which I really needed, uh, we. Uh, I went out and spoke with the head of the of the, the orphanage, and she told me that his name is Iham, mm. and that he may be uh, being uh, adopted. And there were two people who came right after I was oh, there yes, I saw them, yeah. um, to come in and see if he could warm up to them. Mm, that's great. And so uh, my prayer for Iham and for all the orphans is that uh, is that they find God's rich blessing. Um, and that the people who serve them uh, find great strength um, in God's love for them. It's great. And we'll uh, ask people that are watching this to say their prayers uh, for them as well. Amen. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Greg.